Hey folks, happy Halloween! I've got a Halloween special up on Pokebox 5, I urge you all to go check it out. I was originally planning on having a Halloween special up on this channel too, with my Rotom team in a Rotations battle, but I really couldn't find anyone to battle Rotations with my Rotom team for a Halloween special, so you're going to have to settle for my first Ubers battle up on this channel. So stay tuned! Hey there folks, and welcome to my one millionth battle, in binary at least. It's an Ubers battle, it's the first Ubers battle that I've ever posted on this channel besides my April Fool's Day battle, which, uh, that one, that team was Poka saved. So this one is actually bread slash RNG slash I think I traded for that Deoxys because uh, event Pokemon in Gen 4 are so freaking hard to RNG for. So annoying. Anyway, I lead off with my Deoxys A, as he leads off with his Groudon. My opponent, by the way, is Champion Marks. Uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and go for the Ice Beam. I'm gonna stay and go for the Ice Beam, thinking that I can almost certainly... Oh, well, I know I can two-hit KO him, but I'm thinking that he might just go for the Stealth Rock's first turn, rather than attacking me, and that would be nice. So he actually goes for the Thunder Wave and makes me really, really wish I had a Cleric on this team. I don't, and I, that's basically because I haven't found a good Cleric, really, uh, for Ubers. I guess Mew would work. I don't know. Anyway, I get paralyzed this turn, which sucks because I could have taken him out with an extreme speed, and that would have been excellent because then he couldn't have gotten his rocks up, and that would have been great for my Reshiram, which, you know, the sun is up, I could have done massive damage to him. Anyway, I go for the extreme speed this turn, KO is Groudon, and that's excellent for me, but he does have the Kyogre, so I'm really worried about him sending that in at any point. Uh, his Arceus goes for the extreme speed. I was actually going for the extreme speed myself, but oh well. He takes me out, and that's a dead Deoxys A. But you know, when it was paralyzed, it was basically a dead Deoxys A. I go ahead and switch in Duroc, which is my Giratina origin form, expecting him to switch out. Instead, he goes for the Shadow Claw. That's going to do a lot of damage to me. I'm going to go for the sub this turn, and but he's obviously going to break the sub next turn, so oh well. He goes ahead and uh, Shadow Claws me, and that sucks, and I'm going to go ahead and go for the Outrage here. Uh, I was just hoping that it would do a good ton of damage, because I am adamant, I'm not max uh, attack, it's the um, physical Deoxy, not Deoxy, I'm sorry, Giratina O set from 4th gen, and yeah, it doesn't do nearly enough. I'm going to go ahead and send out Booth this turn, not going to worry too much about the rocks, I'm going to bluff the Scarf, hope that he's going to pull back his uh, Arceus, and indeed he does, but unfortunately he sends out Lugia, he falls a little bit too much for my trick, and I go for the Focus Blast, I run a Scarf, not, I'm sorry, I run Specs, not Scarf, and even though Booth is, has amazing, amazing special attack, and that, uh, that has 120 base power, uh, Lugia 4 x resists it under the freaking wall, so that's obviously going to do nothing. I'm going to go ahead and switch out to my Avocado this turn. That's my Excadrill, which I can't believe is Uber. Uh, people are really ridiculous for banning uh, uh, Excadrill to Ubers, in my humble opinion. I'm going to go ahead and go for the Rapid Spin this turn. And that's great because now there's now he actually used Whirlwind, so that's really great. Because uh, now my booth can come back in for free. It's actually really funny that he dragged him back out. But, uh, yeah. No entry hazards, meaning he can't really do the phasing thing for no other purpose than to accumulate stealth rock damage. So I go for the Shadow Ball this turn. It doesn't even look like it's going to three-hit KO. He goes for the Toxic. I really should have gone for the Blue Flare in the Sun, but I was worried about him sending out Kyogre, and I figured that Shadow Ball would be a safe move all the way around, but it just doesn't have the power. I've actually been really disappointed in Reshiram. Uh, Reshiram's performance. It's just not really hitting as hard as I thought it would. But I, it's probably just that I'm not using it right, to be honest. So anyway, he's gonna go for the Roost this turn as I go for the Rock Slide with my Excadrill. Basically, I'm faster. Yeah, I got my turns confused a little bit, sorry about that. I go for the Rock Slide, it's not even gonna two-hit KO, and his Ice Beam is gonna hit me fairly hard, but what I'm really hoping for is either a Flinch, or a crit, because that's pretty much the only way I'm going to KO this Lugia. It's really good that he doesn't outspeed me, because then he could roost me and my attacks would do absolutely nothing. 
um, because he'd be on the ground before- well, I guess I could use Earthquake and that might do a decent chunk of damage, I don't know. But the point is that this Lugia is stalling me hardcore. Hey, at least he can't Toxic me, that's nice. So, Avocado's actually doing a good job, as long as he doesn't miss, I figure it's gonna be alright. He actually goes ahead and switches out his Lugia, realizing that he can't really do anything to me and I can do a lot to him, it's only a matter of time before I get some kind of hacks. I go for the Rock Slide here, does nothing to his Ferrothorn, and I'm obviously going to want to switch out. I do run the Brick Break, actually Earthquake does more and doesn't take the Iron Barbs, but I'm going to predict him to use Leech Seed, and so I send in Onion, uh, which is one of the best, uh, whatchamacallit, Kyogre counters I've found. It's really, really awesome against Kyogre because it does have Swift Swim, so it, can, it doesn't have to run a choice set to outspeed a choice Kyogre. Meanwhile, it can uh, usually one-hit KO a Scarf or Specs Kyogre with a Grass Knot. But, you know, besides taking on Kyogre, Onion really doesn't have that much going for it. I actually really love it, though. It's, it's a pretty cool Pokémon, and people don't really expect to see it in Ubers. Anyway, yeah, they don't expect to see it in Ubers for a reason. Anyway, it looks like Focus Blast is going to two-hit KO. He is going to go ahead and switch out into Lugia here. I really, I had predicted this the last turn, that's why I'd gone for the Ice Beam. This turn I didn't predict it, I went for the Focus Blast, and that's really not going to do anything. He's actually predicting me quite well, it's like he's inside my head. It's really kind of creepy. But anyway, I'm going to want to switch out here, uh, because I do want to save my Onion for later. I'm going to go ahead and actually send out my Groudon, figuring that I can hit him with a Stone Edge, if I, by some miracle, outspeed, and I shouldn't fear too much from his attacks. Indeed, Ice Beam doesn't actually do too much, and I'm really hoping that I can get off a of Stone Edge and uh, kill Lugia with a super effective hit off of... I've run Adamant Max Attack, so I'm thinking it might do a lot to him, I'm not sure though. He goes ahead and toxics me, and that's rather unfortunate. I think I, yeah, I do go for the Stone Edge here, and it does connect, and I'm so happy. I'm like, down you go, Lugia. Take that, and it's not even a two-hit KO. I'm like, seriously? Sir, how the heck do people kill Lugias? I don't understand. They're so freaking bulky. Ah, uh, yeah, I gotta say, folks, when I set out to create an Ubers team, I was not expecting this level of stall. I've had four Ubers battles so far. This is actually number four, and it's the best of my four battles. Um, which is why I'm uploading it as my first Ubers battle on this channel. I've had four Ubers battles so far, and the two that were the worst were full-blown stalls. Actually, no, three out of the four were stalls. Uh, and just, I cannot believe how stally Ubers has gotten. I thought it was hyper-offensive. I don't know. Anyway, my opponent goes ahead and sends out Ferrothorn here just to basically stall me out. I go for the Stone Edge here, just hoping to get damage on here and um, making him continue to roost. But, meh, my best strategy's not really working. Uh, so yeah, Ferrothorn takes that uh, Stone Edge like it was nothing. Meanwhile, I'm accumulating more and more poison damage. I really, really wish I had some kind of cleric on this team. I'm gonna go ahead and send Onion back out, predicting the Leech Seed, uh, taking some spikes damage, which is unfortunate. Ferrothorn goes ahead and sends up, sets up a third layer, or maybe it's only a second layer of spikes. Yeah, it's only a second layer of spikes, I don't know what I'm talking about. And I'm going to go for the Focus Blast here. Amazingly, both of my Focus Blasts, actually all of my Focus Blasts have hit, which is really kind of amazing. And I do KO his Ferrothorn. So the first KO of the battle, at least on my side, goes to Onion. So how is... How do, oh no, actually it's my second KO because Deoxys got the KO earlier. But anyway, yeah, how do you like that? The Ludicolo gets a freaking KO. I thought about going for the Focus Blast against his Champion Marks too, but I decided against it. Uh, he is going to go for the Extreme Speed, and I didn't think I could take it. So, I think Gondwana... No, Gondwana does get taken out by that. It was basically just in there for fodder, so yeah. I wanted the, uh, the safe switch into Avocado. I was thinking that maybe... I, I was hoping that uh, I could KO with a Brick Break, and indeed, I do. It's really amazing. I did get a crit. Probably that crit mattered, because uh, Avocado is jolly, doesn't run the best attack, but hey, I got a KO, and I'm really, really happy. So he sends out his Rayquaza, and I'm thinking, hmm, can I survive an attack round? And the answer was, I thought I could, but he had the Earthquake. I was actually hoping to outspeed, but that indicates to me that this guy is either Scarfed or uh, Jolly. Indeed, it's got to be Jolly because it's Life Orb, and so I go ahead and send out Onion. I don't know why I sent out Onion. I know that he's Jolly, and Extreme Speed is going to hit really hard. And I believe that's going to take out my onion. And indeed it does. So yeah, that's lame. And rather unfortunate. But I really don't have anything to take on this Rayquaza at this point. So I go ahead and send out Booth. 
Uh, unfortunately, Blue Pharaoh Flare is not going to get boosted by the sun, but I and I think I'm going to be able to survive an extreme speed, but I'm not 100% positive. I'm just really hoping more than anything else. Booth does survive the extreme speed, and that is awesome. I go for the Shadow Ball, expecting a switch, uh, but I no switch, and I KO with Shadow Ball. Uh, had he gone for the Earthquake, he actually would have speed tied me, most likely, because I think we were both running base 90 speed. La uh, I, this is my last Pokemon, got nothing else to do. Uh, out comes Kyogre, and I am going to go ahead and go for the uh, Shadow Ball, but he is going to go first. He's probably Scarfed, and takes me out with a Surf, and that is the game. So great game, Champion Marks. I've got a lot to learn when it comes to Ubers, and expect this team to change up a lot once those other three Ubers battles have gone up. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this, folks. Comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge.